Guys, so I've been sitting on the deck, sitting on my stairs, looking at the garden and thinking about, I'll show you when we get there. I have a spot in my garden that I had. I cannot think of the variety of lavender. I have three nice lavender plants up by the uh, rain barrel, but I really liked that gray foliage. And I, um, I thought, what can I use without buying plants i was i went out and bought some things yesterday you huh? sure did buy i know i couldn't help it mr freed thank you mr. personally freed, he, did. he did i know he said he wasn't going to sell out tomorrow but anyhow so i i'm over here this morning and i thought i need to edge i control this is stacky's byzantina or lamb's ear and um you know i just did uh, a video where i talked about how it is a nice um a uh, 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 ground cover and it's easily managed it's it's drought tolerant it doesn't require rich soil and i thought it's got the gray color animals don't bother it either, and no no one eats it and i thought i'm going to be moving this and i'm either going to you know call you know put up on facebook on social media out there that i have some lamb's ear stachyus byzantina for anyone to pick up but i thought why not just repurpose it on that nice little edge? There's a corner of the of the shade garden that gets sun. And Reg, you can probably pan where uh, it's shade until we get to the far border of right, the boxwood. Yeah, the yeah. end of the boxwood, yeah. Because I have some daylilies and I thought, this takes a lot of sun. I don't have to manage it. I like my shade garden being pretty much carefree. I like all of my gardens to be carefree. So here we are. I thought I'm going to mimic and I am a person. I like repetition. I like my eye to be able to fall from one thing to another. And I thought I just solved my own problem without having to go shopping. And you can do the same thing. It pays to sit and think sometimes. And uh, that's what I did this morning. So I'll show you how easy this is. Uh, Stachyus is, a, is very easy to uh, transplant. I just dig a clump of it. It's shallow rooted. It's pretty dry today out here. We're getting rain um, to, for several days in a row, which will be perfect. So if you need to be transplanting things, guys, if you're in zone six here in West Virginia, uh, we're gonna get a lot of rain, I hope, because we've had three dry weeks. And uh, so anyhow, let's take some of these clumps over to where we're going to be just transferring them and transplanting them. I love it. I love it when I don't have to spend a lot of time or money on this. And so here was the border that um, had the gray lavender foliage. And now I'm going to really, I think, be happy with this. So the winter just got to it? The yeah, I lavender. think that 30 below zero got to that one. <laughs> yeah. Up by the rain barrel is a little more protected. Yeah. So anyhow, this is what's happening. I've already turned the soil around and uh, add a little compost. But again, you don't have to add compost. And all I'm going to do, I'm going to put it back in the soil at the same level it came out. It has a little bit of dirt on it already. And you, you know, lambs here are so easy you just stick it in there and I'm gonna put some soil around it I need to dig it out just a little bit let me go get my shovel <laughs> you want me to sing a song while you're over there <laughs> yeah you sing please <laughs> yeah anyhow this is how easy it is to create a new border and uh, one thing about it it's just that easy look how dry the soil is Anyhow, I'm going to dig it down a little further. I'm not adding any kind of fertilizer. Like I said, I did add a little compost to this soil because it's just so dry. And uh, this is how it's going to look when I'm done. I will continue this all the way around. And I'll probably end up letting adding to the far corner of the juniper right there. And... One thing led to another today. I'm so excited I did it. Reg, <laughs> I know. It's the little things. It's because, the little things that make you happy. Well, because I, I it's going can't... to rain too. Oh, yeah. And uh, I also, let me just tell you one more thing before we go. My girlfriend gave me this uh, shoot. I'll think of the name of it. 
but Barb, thank you. It's got a beautiful little, it's called uh, Rose Champion or Campion. Yeah, I'm probably mispronouncing it, but Barb, this has a beautiful little red flower. And once Princess Kate blooms, I think it's going to really add that color. Anyhow, um, I'm doing this before the rain, so get out today, guys. Enjoy your gardens or anytime, and uh, we'll see you the next time. Bye.